Hello everyone, my name is Ally5900, and welcome to all of the new event weapons for the new Cops and Robbers update. I'm also going to be reviewing the weapons that I missed out on from the last event, because I haven't made any videos on the lollipop chest yet. As you can see, oh, I should turn that down. <laughs> uh, I have the tiger chest and the lollipop chest completed. Um, I was second in getting both of these items. If you want to see how I got both of these items, all you have to do is... Play single player mode every day. Well, every day until you get the scores limit, of course. And then you want to also watch the ad on the floating box. And sometimes you might get the spin tokens to open the chest again. These chests also sometimes will have ads where you can open the chest twice after a certain time limit. Always watch those ads. The more you can open, the better. As you can see, the tiger chest has this rifle, the tiger rifle. I think it looks a bit stupid, but the stats are pretty good. And I have it equipped right now, and I can show you what the cards have in it. I have a s bal s con combo. As you can see, I'm pretty much just two-shotting everything I move. Well, they're not moving, I don't want to say moves. And then... See, it does like 80 damage. For each shot, 60 on 70 to far. It's a good rifle if you don't have any other event weapons, although compared to something like a battle pass, it could be a bit tricky to get. It might not be worth your time. Unless you really want this gun, then try and get it. Um, the most important weapon, I think, for the brand new event is the Lollipop Sniper. The Lollipop Sniper is the most important one because it is a sniper that has explosive damage. So that means anything that it hits in a certain area is also hit and it one-shots you. Which is a bit overpowered. I think it's a bit strong, but whatever people say, I guess. Um, here's my card choice for it. I have two reloads because clip buffs actually don't work on the sniper. It's hard-coded to have a limit of five. Probably because there's five gun balls on the top of the sniper and they want it to be like realistic. Anyways, here's the sniper. Here's just like a simple body shot. Here's me shooting the floor around them. And here's me shooting the wall. Oh, that's a bit far. Let's go this side. Yep. And then you can see like, if you hit like people who are next to them, they also die as well. I can't show you it on this because all of the NPCs are split around. I'll probably put a clip of me hitting like a four in a shot, a three in a shot or something. That'll probably just prove it. But as for the other event items, you also have the lollipop rifle. I don't have this equipped, so I don't have cards, but I'd just say s bal s -con combo again, because that's just like the best raw damage output you can get. Even if you always hit the first try and the con doesn't work, the balance always gives you enough power to two shot afterwards. And this rifle is a bit good because it's faster. And like most event rifles, it's actually pretty fast. So it's very good if you're working with someone at a distance because fire rate also affects the speed of how far bullets travel at longer ranges. So it could be good to have armor, cards, maybe even eclipse buff for armor instead of a reload buff. I use a reload buff because you will run out of clips pretty quickly if you have a fast fire rate. Um, as you can see, we also have these um, new skins. Personally, I I think the only good skin out of the um, lollipop chest is the MP5 skin, as that increases the damage when you hit three times in a row. This HK skin, it's kind of useless, because the HK one-shot headshots naturally. It does enough damage to kill in a headshot anyways. Uh, the car lollipop, it's okay, but the chance is a bit low, I think. You'll rarely see it happen. And if you're a sniper, you'll probably have like five, six, maybe even a full row of snipers equipped in your inventory instead. Plus, this sniper is kind of outmatched by the lollipop sniper in the chest anyways. Um, for the other weapons in the tiger chest, you also have the Uzi skin, which increases movement speed by 10%. Decreases, sorry. And the M134 skin. I actually like how this skin looks. I actually think it's... One of the better system weapon skins. It gives it a new shape. Uh, the piercing shot is also pretty good. The only problem is it's a machine gun. Uh, the SVD skin, same business, but it looks cool though. I like this one. I like red. It's like the spring skin, but it's a bit more exotic looking and more common. <laughs> the tiger sniper, I have no really, no like 
comments on this. It's just a generic sniper. Calypse is pretty good though. It has a... It's just like a... Fire Dragon... Golden Barret type sniper rifle. It's okay. It could be good to like flex, I guess. But... As for the other items in the chest, I'll get a store, and I can show you the um, Uzi skin. There it is. See, it's just like, well, to be fair, there's not much you can do with Uzi, because it's just like, they can't move, but the stuff, it's like QCW. If you can't afford the QCW, or you never have the QCW, then you'll want to get this one instead as that has the slowing speed buff anyways. Um, for the most part, if you're playing SMGs, you're just going to one-shot headshot people anyway, so don't be too worried about using the skin for something. Maybe the Uzi Ghost is more your style, if you like the um, buff that that provides instead. As for the HK skin, I'll show you how that also looks. It's, it, it looks cool. I, I think it looks good, but if you have the carnival skin, personally I think the carnival skin looks better than the normal HK and the lollipop HK and the silver and the gold one. I think the carnival skin is the best HK skin out there. It's a bit rare though now, but now if I can show off the sniper, the lollipop sniper, I will make a room with an alt account real quick. Oh, it's asking for a password. And now invite myself. Big pro of this sniper is you can just do this, which is a bit cracked. I don't know why they want to do this, but there's also a way of doing it where if they're standing out further back, he's standing in the same spot again, but notice I can't hit him. Best way to do this is just jump and Double then jump afterwards. And then they'll let him respawn again. You may also consider, what if they're at the stairs? Triple That's also kill. there too. Pretty much this sniper covers any wall, if you want. If you're predicting someone who's going to be like walking over... There you go. You just have to keep pre-firing. If you want to get a more better shot, uh, like a more accurate shot, the best bet is to rush and jump up, and then you can see what's inside. So when they start walking in, you can see that their head's there, and you just press the fire button. This is hard to control with like one hand at a time, but imagine you know jumping around, blah 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 blah, blah and then God they just like. you know jump there. If they're, you know, what's what's the word? Head glitching, I guess. That's probably what this sniper's for. It's a beating head glitches. You know, doing when they do this. That's probably the best for it. If they're down here, same business again. Just do that. God like. As for the new bomb, there's some a bit broken with this bomb. I'll I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit broken, but. Can see if I get this to pour out. It hits. It's it's going right into their spawn, basically, and they can't even see it on their end. You've seen my video on the bomb here, like. and yeah, these bombs are a bit cracked. I don't know why they wanted to put so much range on these. It's a bit excessive. It's like throwing a javelin, but again. Like. These skins do look cool though, if you have them in the kill feed. I like how the Uzi looks in the kill feed as well. If you probably could do this, you could also throw over to... Uh, spawn. You can see the explosion over there. And so like. skins. This is the rifle. Uh, you've seen it in action, but I'll show you it in DP because that's more accurate. So, it, it's a solid two shot. It, it just two shots people. <laughs> um, 
it's good accuracy makes it a good HK alternative if you like that type of stuff. And if they, and again, if you like using a rifle and they miss and they, you know, they're jumping down. It's hard to, it's a bit tricky to do, but you can get this done right. You just have to Godlike. not shoot the back wall, but shoot this wall here instead. That makes it easier for them to hit. Other than that, I think that's like all of the good event weapons anyways. It's just like, there isn't much there to show off other than the rifle and the OP sniper. The sniper might expire soon, by the way. So do try and get it as soon as possible, because if you don't get it, you're going to be fucked. So have a good time and make sure to get this sniper, because if you don't, you're lost.